When I was a kid, I always wondered what love was going to feel like. Um, I wondered how it was going to be different than the crushes that I had. And honestly, the way that I love my husband is so much like the way I used to have crushes. Um, it's like a crush that never went away. I saw a video by Chance. He's an interesting dude. Um, I'll put his link to his channel over yonder. And he was talking about love, and he, had, he made some pretty good points for uh, as young as he is. He's saying, you know, how to find true love, and I think that there's no way to find it. I think it just comes upon you, and I know that that's it's the thing that everybody says, but I think it's really true, and I'm a firm believer that you don't meet the person that you're ready to be with the rest of your life until it's time for you to meet that person. Like, for example, John, my husband, is four years younger than me. I met him when he was 20 and I was 24. If he, if I had met him before that, I probably wouldn't have even given him a shot. I barely even gave him a shot at 20 because um, he was too young, you know? Like, he couldn't even get in the bar with me, you know, go hang out with my friends. I feel like a lot of relationships are not good because there isn't good communication, that there's constant stabbing at the other person. Like, when you, when you get in a good relationship with somebody, you really get to know them, you get to know their weak spots, and I feel like once those weak spots are found, you have the choice of whether you're going to exploit those weak spots or not, whether you're going to poke them with a stick and you know those of you that have been in long relationships know what I'm talking about and I think a reciprocal relationship is really important where you take care of each other you never have to worry about being taken care of you always know that the person's going to take care of you like for example John <laughs> this is a cheesy example but John and I eat asparagus sometimes with dinner and we cut it in half and you've got the tops and the bottoms well he was always eating the bottoms of the asparagus and I was always eating the tops of the asparagus. And the reason why we did that was because I liked the bottoms the best and he liked the tops the best. So we were always trying to leave the good part for the other person. I feel like with every relationship that I had, I learned something from that relationship and I feel like every bad relationship that I had, I took something from it that taught me something that I either really wanted to have in the person I wanted to spend the rest of my life with or something that I definitely did not want to have. I've got this, uh, this theory about playing cards, that when you go out on a date with somebody, you pick a card off the top of the deck, a random card. You know, it could be a two, it could be a jack, it could be an ace, it could be, you know, whatever. You never know what you're going to get. So you kind of figure out over time or in that one date or in five minutes what you've got. And you have the choice to either throw it in or you can keep it. And sometimes people find tens, jacks, queens, and they settle for those ten shafts queens and their ace is waiting for them in the pile. So if you you're in one of those things where you've got a ten, it's kinda good, but you know, mm -hmm. throw that ten back and pick again. It may take you to go through some twos and some fives before you find your ace, but your ace is in there. Okay, this is why my husband rocks. Okay, I told him that I really liked this um, kind of candy that I had first tasted in Canada and he found it for me. It's a company called Kinder and they make these chocolate eggs with toys inside and I'm such a kid and I love it. And then he found these for me. They're they're called Happy Hippos and he knows me so well that I would love these things. See, look at these. Aren't those the cutest things ever? It's got gooey goodness inside. And if you bite everything else, it looks really inappropriate. My kid's waking up. Alright. Mad love, guys. I love you. And I'll see you soon. Mwah.